Hi there, welcome to the Senior Physics um, video on light and waves. In this video, we're going to look at apparent depth. Now, have you ever wondered that when you look into a fish pond and you look at the fish swimming around or you look at the stones at the bottom of the, um, the pond, they always seem to be a lot closer to you than they really are. And if you went to try and grab a fish, you'd actually miss it. Firstly, because the fish would swim away. And secondly, your perception of where the fish actually is to where the fish really is, there is a, there is a difference. Now, what we're going to do in this video is try and explain why that um, difference occurs and how can we calculate either the actual depth of the, um, the object or the virtual um, image depth um, based on the media that we happen to be working with. Well, firstly, let's deal with question one and see what is the reason or how does a, a, an image um, get to be closer to us, especially when we're looking at things in water. Okay, so here we have um, an example. We've got a water layer, which is shown by our blue line, and that's going to be separating off our two media, air at the top, water at the bottom. We've got a person who's going to be looking at a fish. Now, the fish obviously is our object, and the person obviously is the eye. Now, from the object, in order to see the fish, what we've actually got is reflected rays from the sun, which is going to be hitting the fish and bouncing into that person's eyes. So we'll take a couple of um, reflected rays from the same point of the fish. So here's a reflected ray, which I'm going to then refract against the normal into air. Now, obviously, remember it's moving into air, so the refracted ray is going to be greater. I take another beam going from exactly the same point now this is going to be at a different angle of incidence to the normal, as you can see there. So I'm going to get a different angle of refraction. Now at this point, where the eye is, the eye, the, the, the beams do not converge. They do not cross, so we don't get a real image. So what we actually have to do is track back from each of the refracted rays. So I track back with the first one, I track back with the, the second one, and you can see the two points cross. Now the point where they cross is where our virtual image is going to be formed. And as you can see, our virtual image is a lot higher than the, um, than the actual objects. What actually happens is our brain doesn't take into account that it's going um, from, a refract uh, from un undergoing refraction as it moves from one media to the next. All it does is take the light beams that are coming off and track them back to a point where they converge. And that's where our image in our, in our brain is centered. So it's a virtual image and it pulls the object up. Now, the question is then, how much is it pulled up? Well, with everything that we've looked at so far, it's all down to the density of the medium. Okay, obviously the denser there are, the, the, the denser it is, the more refraction we're going to get. So we have a calculation which will allow us to calculate the um, depth of either the actual object or the apparent object. Now the um, equation we use is n equals true depth divided by apparent depth. Now n is the refractive index of the media that we happen to be moving um, from and the true depth obviously is the depth of the object. The apparent depth is where our brain places the image once it's um, captured all the light. So let's use an example. So here's an example. I've got to find the apparent depth in water, which has a refractive index of 1.3, and the true depth of the um, object is 2 meters. So it could be a coin sitting at the bottom of the pool 2 meters away. So I use the formula n equals true depth over apparent depth, and basically I'm going to rearrange it so that I can then find what the apparent depth is. So I'm going to swap over um, apparent depth and uh, refractive index. So I get true depth divided by the refractive index will give me the apparent depth of the image, which is 2 divided by 1.33. So my image is going to be 1.5 meters um, from, the, from the surface. So basically it's half a meter higher than where the object obviously is. Now, if you go on and in this uh, post on the, on the course, you go on, I've done a, another example video for you of how we can work through a more complex um, answer, but it's fairly straightforward. So n equals true depth over apparent depth will give us the um, calculation, and then we need to understand that as the beams are ref refracted away, 
we, our brain tracks back to a point where they converge and that's where our image is and that's why it's always higher. Okay, well I hope that makes sense and uh, join me again. Thank you for watching.